for your pupils to understand putt breaking and um, how the speed of the putt affects the amount of break. Break is just the turn of the putt. Um, you can build a ramp with clubs or cones and you can make it as wide or as narrow as you want. So here Adam's just demonstrating rolling the ball first so you get an idea of how much the putt will break or the ball will, move, will break when it starts hitting the slope. And then I mentioned in your notes the high side. The ball will never go in from the low side. So I encourage you to make the ramp on the on the high side a little bit bigger. So you see it's wider here coming into the hole than what it is here. To encourage your students to try and start visualizing that the high side needs to be where the ball is, is either going to go in or past the hole. Uh, once you've mastered that playing a little bit of carpet bowls, you can then get them to use the putter. And again explaining if the ball passes the hole quite quickly it's um, not going to break or turn as much and if it comes in slowly then the break will be will be more um, very important to explain to your pupils that my idea of hard and someone else's idea of hard is not the same and the same with soft so no one can actually teach them how hard or soft to hit the putt it comes with a little bit of practice or actually a lot of practice and then also be able to visualize how much slope there is